Sean Baker's gobsmackingly funny, vivid and moving U.S. drama is set on the impoverished fringes of Orlando's Walt Disney World. It's the story of a bullshit mum deemed unfit by social services. Think of it as a sun-kissed Kathy come home. Seriously, there's no missing the influence of Ken Loach. There are nods to poor cow, Kess, Lady Bird, Lady Bird and I, Daniel Blake. Baker recently described Loach as one of his heroes and admitted that had used him as a model, though none of Loach's films have even been nominated for an Oscar, Baker's low-budget offering is being talked up as a contender. Should the Florida Project win a prize it will send out a lovely message we screwed up, re -ken. Please see this as a belated token of our esteem. Young ex-stripper Hallie Brea lives on Route 192 in a violently mob motel called the Magic Castle. Her six-year-old daughter Mooney Brooklyn Prince is a sweet-toothed dirty rascal who couldn't care less about the bedbugs, the pedophiles drawn to the area's playgrounds, or her mum's increasingly precarious status within the motel community. Mooney, because she's a loved child with an XL imagination, is insulated from distress. But Payne is about to find her weak spot. Baker's sixth feature builds on all his work until now. We see tourists buying knockoff goods, just as they did in The Prince of Broadway. And we see family guys flocking to stigmatized sex workers, a la Tangerine, a bad mom's Christmas review tis the season to be chuckling that movie, famously, was filmed using an iPhone 5. The Florida Project, though shot almost entirely with 35mm cameras, closes with a sequence taken on an iPhone 6 Plus. This payoff is smarter than any gizmo. The visual shift ragged texture, hypersaturated color signals that we're watching a fantasy. And what we see iconic images with a twist makes a thousand light bulbs in our head explode. It's been a fine year for finales see Aquarius, The Red Turtle and Call Me By Your Name. Get ready to add the Florida Project's bedaciously bleak ending to that list. If you heart Emily Lloyd or Chloe Seveny, yeah will find Vinette gripping. She's a loose goosey natural. So is Prince. Casting non-professionals alongside A-list stars doesn't always work but Willem Dafoe as Bobby, the motel's nervy, conscientious manager looks as raw as the rest. The camera, if especially respectful towards the children, refuses to demonize any of the characters. It's not even snooty about the magic castle which, as it happens, is a real place. If you believe in magic, here's where to find it.